Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek with a Guess the Grade video for you on a coin that's just kind of kind of fun here. We've done this a few times with different bus dollars when I get them in. I, I don't see these as frequently as a lot of guys do. I shouldn't say as a lot of guys do because there's plenty of guys that just don't see bus dollars at all. But, uh, you know, if you go to the giant ANA shows and stuff, you'll see these coins kicking around, you know, like it's uh, like it's nothing, right? So, but... For the rest of us, uh, we get to look at coins like these a little bit less frequently. And so let's take a closer look at one pretty coin. I don't get many 18th century US coins in. Really nice, bold, 1799. And there were a lot of different varieties on these coins. Um, this one does not have the variety on the label. So I would have to go do a little bit of research. I always find it really kind of interesting. You know, these are so bold and beautiful and popular, but that the ribbon on these are so big, it's very Pollyanna-ish. You know, if you ever notice that, like just how big that ribbon is on the back of this, the hair on here. I think maybe I'll cosplay as a silver dollar. Maybe that's what I'll do. So this guy is quite lovely. You can see you got wear spots, of course, on the face and the hair and the ribbon and the and the bust line. And then, but you have a lot of boldness kicking around also. And beautiful, nice, nice strong liberty, pretty evenly struck. Of course, these guys, the strike on them is all over the place on the early US coins. And so oftentimes you'll see a lot more detail to one side of the coin than the other. I don't mean the obverse to reverse, I mean from, from one side of the coin to the other side of the coin. And uh, let's take a look here again at the back. And you'll see uh, generally pretty pretty bold looking pretty bold looking clouds and stars, but then again you've got a lot of wear. And so I'm going to lead the jury, of course, here a little bit because I like to just kind of um, yeah I'm like the Troy Aikman of coin commentators here. Anyway, I just like I like to talk a lot. So one of the things of course that you want to look for on a coin when you're trying to determine grade is to find out if there's really any luster left on the coin that kind of helps you understand uh, what the overall grade is on the coin and then of course the amount of wear that's left on the coin so uh, this coin does not really have the luster on it which usually drops you below the extra fine grades that's just kind of a rule of thumb somewhere between xf uh, 40 and vf 35 you kind of lose the remaining luster. You can have coins in VF with luster, but it's it's pretty unusual, except for the ones that I get back misgraded. PCGS VF25, oh, with the bonus CAC sticker on there. Bing, 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 bing. So this coin uh, is really a pretty coin. Uh, congratulations if you guessed very fine, 25. That is right in the ballpark. Um, you know, you're splitting hairs sometimes between a 25 and a 30. But you, you know, you do have those signs of wear throughout the coin that uh, you know are pretty flat, and you do have a lot of bold detail still on the jawline and the hair, the hair up top. You know, a very bold eye. Probably need just a little bit more detail up in here to push you into more of that 30 range. Um, you know, although like I said, lots of times from one grade to the next, you're splitting hairs. Also, the high points here with those flat spots throughout, but uh, still lots of detail in the ribbons and the uh, the ribbon across and down in the shield. So overall, pretty nice coin. Uh, I, we, we will put it on the website. It's going to be you know at market price. It's an expensive coin in this market, you know somewhere around thirty five hundred. But it's um, you know that's kind of what they're trading at. Go to a show and you'll see them trade at that level. And uh, anyway. Beautiful coin. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.